What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and addiction and all that stuff to try to help you or maybe even somebody you know. All right, so if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Now, for all of my loyal Rewired soldiers out there, format's a little bit different. I'm just gonna talk to you about the science of addiction. I'm gonna give a really exciting announcement for those of you who haven't heard yet. And yeah, let's just sit and talk. So kick back, relax, get your popcorn or drink, you know, your morning cup of coffee or afternoon cup of coffee, depending on when you're watching this video. All right, so yeah. Anyways, um, those of you who know, I worked in an addiction treatment center for over three years. Um, this was after I had three years of sobriety already. And I never had the, the luxury of going to treatment when I got sober. So I reached a point in my life where, you know, the, the disease of addiction was in my head and I'm just like, why, 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 why me? Why not these other people and all that stuff, right? So I had to educate myself about the disease of addiction. So I ended up, uh, you know, buying books and looking up stuff and trying to educate myself more. And while working at the treatment center, I actually put together a group, all right? So the groups I did were about an hour to an hour and a half, and this was actually a group that I did over the course of two groups, all right? Because I found it was so beneficial to me to understand why I was biologically different than other people, why the disease of addiction affected me and not others. So I wanted to teach people about that when they came to treatment. and. Basically, you know, I, I go through in this, you know, group or course, if you will, about first off the risk factors, like what makes somebody more prone to addiction? So there's everything from genetics to the age you started drinking or using. There's also the environment that you're in, you know, there's also uh, mental illness. And that's one of the reasons why it's so important that we understand what can lead somebody to this, this life where drugs or alcohol or food or sex or gambling completely consumes their life, all right? And then I go on to the neuroscience of this thing, how it affects the brain, why the addicted brain is different than the normal brain, and then I give some solutions because that's what I do, baby. But anyways, after doing this group for a while, I kept having just dozens upon dozens upon dozens of clients just saying, oh my God, this makes sense. Like, a lot of people are asking the question, why? Why me, why me? So, since so many people loved it, they started asking me, they said, Chris, my mom, my dad, my husband, my wife, you know, my kids, they don't understand addiction. Like, can you teach this to them? And I'm just like, yeah, sure. So we did a family weekend once a month where families would come down and, you know, you would do like family therapy and all sorts of stuff. And I had a, you know, um, a part in that. So I would teach families this as well. And family members would thank me and say, oh my God, I understand. And this is important for especially parents because a lot of parents think they are the reason that their child became addicted. And while there are some components like environmental and genetics and stuff like that, it helped them understand and it helped, you know, the parents and family members understand that the person with an addiction is not a bad person, they are a sick person, all right? So the family members started loving it as well. Now, since the treatment center I worked at, most people flew in from out of town, out of state to come to our facility. People were like, hey, my family member cannot come to this group. Like, can you do something, right? So what I ended up doing was I ended up recording this whole thing and putting it online, all right? And this is like two years ago, before, before my YouTube channel was even a thing, right? Like, before any of that stuff. So I ended up, like a buddy came over, Tristan was there, and um, we recorded it, we just put it up, right? So what I would do is, I, all, for all of my clients, I would give them a coupon code to give to their family members. I'm like, if your family member wants to learn more about addiction, here you go, have them check it out on the website. Now, I am the type of person who's always wanted to be my own boss and not have to work for the man or the woman, if you will. And so I put this course up online and I was charging for it to hopefully bring in some extra money so I can end up leaving my job and do my own thing because I wanted to help out more people by my own rules, right? So I put this course up. Now, since I suck at selling <laughs> and don't like selling things, um, this course just sat there. 
it just sat there and it wasn't until <laughs> it wasn't until people started to expose me and talk about this course that I'm charging for. By the way, this course that I taught in a treatment center that cost thirty thousand dollars a month, right? Um, so they they started talking about this. I'm like, oh yeah, I have a course app, right? Like, how many of you? How many of you who have been subscribed to my channel even knew I had a course? Most of you didn't because I never talk about it because I forget about it. So I'm like, oh, okay. So if you want some proof, here is my analytics for the last year. Do you see that zero? Zero dollars. I've made no money off this course because it's just like whatever, because most of the stuff I teach, I put on you know my YouTube channel for free when I talk about addiction, all right? But anyways, because I'm not selling this thing, because I'm not trying to sell this thing, because it's not bringing in any money, all these things, I'm like, you know what? There is an addiction epidemic out there. Like, why don't I just give this thing away? Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is something I taught to people in rehab, in a fully accredited rehab. Why don't I just make this course free and give it to as many people as possible? So that's something that I've been talking about for the last day. Like if you follow me on social media or you're signed up on the mailing list, you know that this course is now free, okay? So I really, 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 really hope you check it out. Like if you are, if you are somebody in active addiction, check it out, it will help. If you are somebody in recovery from addiction, check it out, it will help to strengthen your recovery. Addiction affects one out of every 12 people on average. So if you know 12 people, you have an addict in your life. Like I said, whether it's substances, whether it's food, whether it's sex, whether it's gambling, whatever it is, you know somebody who is an addict. So please educate yourself. We need to have people educated about the disease of addiction so we can start ending the stigma and help more people. So please do yourself a favor and get educated about this thing, even if you're not somebody who struggles with addiction because it may help you to help somebody else, all right? And like, because I just wanna spread awareness and because I wanna educate people, because I wanna end the stigma, especially when there's a narrative going on that, you know, um, you know, drug addicts are bad people and drugs coming in from these other places. Like you guys, addiction is not going to go away no matter how many walls we put up, no matter, you know, how many, you know, sanctions we put up for, you know, stuff coming into our country. Addiction isn't going away. We need to understand how this thing works. So do me a favor and share this with people you know. Share it with everybody you know, okay? I'm not trying to make any money off this thing. Go and share it with people. Educate people. Let's help end this stigma and fight the disease of addiction together, all right? So just share this link, say, hey, here you go. The, the freaking thing is only about an hour and a half, all right? And like the amount of knowledge that you'll gain from this thing is going to be just incredible, all right? So please go check it out, sign up. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I might do some like, um, webinar type things um, for anybody who has questions. So if you have questions about anything that I cover, because usually when I'm doing a group, I have people raising their hands so I can answer questions. So this is a little bit different. So I might do webinars um, just to kind of go over this thing. Maybe once in a month, I'll just like talk about it uh, in like a live stream or something. So if you have questions, write them down. If anybody you know has questions, write them down, whatever it is. All right, so again, Go check out the course, 100% free, doesn't take too much time, and you can help all of us in this addiction crisis that we got going on, all right? So that's all I got. Thanks to everybody supporting the channel on, on Patreon. You're all awesome, and I'll see y'all in the next one.